everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Blair. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Today is day six of my 12 Days of Palettes series, and today's palette is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. I recently got this during Black Friday with the Anastasia Vault that they had with the Soft Glam Palette. You may see the box back here and I wanted to use this palette in a video today. I did Soft Glam yesterday. I will link that video for you if you did not see that one. If you're interested in seeing how I created this look with the Modern Renaissance palette, please keep watching and please subscribe if you haven't already. Let's go ahead and get started. First, gonna go into the shade Tempura right here. It's the matte skin tone shade in the palette. It's the same skin tone shade that's in the Soft Glam palette. I did prime my eyes as well with my NARS Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base in Light. Next, I'm going in with this shade right here, it's kind of a light lavender color. It's Bon Fresco, Bon Fresco. I'm probably saying that wrong. And we're gonna use this in the crease. So I wanna do more of a, kind of a wine colored eye. I don't know, I wanna do something different with this palette. Since soft glam, I was more, I did more neutral, not a lot of color. I want to use the purples in this palette. Now I'm going to go into the shade Warm Taupe with that same brush and I'm just going to add a tiny bit of this to the crease as well. So I feel like I'm one of the only people on YouTube that did not own these two palettes already. I'm sure I'm not, but I just feel like these, this palette and the Soft Glam palette you hear and see people use so much. I knew when I saw they were doing the vault deal that I definitely wanted to get it. Now I'm going to mix the shades Venetian Red and Love Letter. I'm going to use a little bit of both of these kind of burgundy tones. And I'm going to put a little bit of this out here. And I'll lightly blend it into the crease, just slightly. Oh, that color is really pretty. Almost like a pinky purple. Oh, it's pretty. Now I'm going to go back into Bon Fresco and Warm Taupe and I'm going to mix just a little bit of both of those and kind of blend these berry tones out a little. Oh, I love this these two colors, Love Letter and Venetian Red, both of those are so pretty. This is a little bit more pink. This one's a little more, I don't know, it's more of a wine color. But these are such beautiful shades. Just 
going to blend out a little on this side. Now I'm going into the shade Primavera here. I'm going to use my finger for this. It's just a light shimmery golden shade. And I'm putting this right in the middle of my lid. So pretty. Then I'm going to take the shade Vermeer right here. It's an even lighter shimmery shade. And I'm going to try to use this brush, but I usually don't have good luck with brushes with shimmer shades, but I'm just packing this right in the inner corner. Into that golden Primavera shade. That brush worked okay. Yeah, that is so pretty. I'm going to mix Warm Taupe and Bon Fresco for the bottom lash line. I'm just going to lightly drag a little bit of this on the lash line and just kind of connect it up. Now I'm going to go into this brown cypress umber and for this I'm actually going to use my favorite little brush, the Real Techniques Accent Brush and I'm going to use just a little bit of that color along the lash line. And then I'm going to flick it slightly outward. Not a distinct line, just barely flicking it out so it gives a little bit of the look of eyeliner but not using liner, if that makes sense. Do the same thing on the other eye. So this is how the eyes look. Oh, I love this so much. I truly think this may be my favorite eye look ever. It's so, so pretty. I love purple. I just think it looks really nice. I love it so much. I am quickly going to take this Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Coal Eye Pencil in Barbarella Brown and line my waterline. Just to make my lash line look thicker or my lash bed look thicker this is the best pencil I found to do this because it stays put and it does not irritate my eyes for some reason so there's that I love how that looks and then I'm just gonna curl my lashes For lashes, I'm going to use this L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara. And I'm not applying false lashes because my lashes are pretty long right now. So I just don't think I need them. but. This look would be so pretty with false lashes as well. 
I've been using Grande Lash for my lashes for quite a while and I thought for a while maybe it wasn't working because the first few weeks I didn't really notice anything but suddenly my lashes have just grown like crazy. So I guess it is working. It just takes a little while to work but I like oh I can't get over this eye look oh my gosh I love it for lips I'm gonna take the makeup forever artist pencil and wherever walnut And then for lipstick, I'm going to use this Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips 2 in JK Magic. And I'm going to go over that with this Lip Collagen Bath from Charlotte Tilbury. So this is the final eye look. I am so obsessed with how this turned out. I'm gonna do this again for sure. And I really didn't have a plan when I sat down to film this video. I just knew I really wanted to use mainly these two, Love Letter and Venetian Red. And what's crazy is when you mix those two with this lavender, the Bon Fresco shade, it kind of tones it down a little bit so it's not so pinky. And it's a little more mauve -y purple. So I am absolutely obsessed with this. Especially, again, for green eyes. So, so beautiful. Hazel eyes. You should definitely try this if you own this palette. <laughs> but I'm so happy with how this turned out. I loved the soft glam look I did as well. It'll be linked at the end of this video if you haven't seen that one yet. But I must say I think this one is my favorite. I love the neutral lift with the purple. I just oh, love it so much. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what you think of this eye look and what you think of the modern renaissance. Do you own this palette? I know a lot of people have this and love it. And I must say, I'm so happy that I now own this. I am absolutely in love with this. So thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel and this 12 Days of Palettes series. I'll be back tomorrow with a new palette. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Remember, simply be you. Bye.